all right what's up guys melting here uh i just want to say first off thank you guys so much for 1.5k subscribers i never even expected it 1k and now we're at 1.5k it's actually crazy like bro you guys are actually amazing it's insane but yeah in this video i'll just be releasing all my settings recording settings micro settings lunar profile render settings all the settings every setting all the settings you need so i guess we start off with micro settings my fov is 80 have that i put fov off you bobbing off i used to use well i used to use this not not really been using this because like my fov gets so messy when i run with it so i just don't use dynamic fov um you bobbing it just shakes my screen when you run so i try to keep that off for better aim and stuff and graphics if you want the best all, all these settings are pretty much optimized for fps i'd say so graphics fast if you have fancy it will lower your fps significantly but yeah and then go over details these are my settings for details smooth the biomes off some colors off most most things are fat either fast or off then animations this is these don't really matter that much i think but i just keep a few off you on mostly on actually we go over to performance smart animations off you see chunk loading on smooth fps off smooth fps if you have problems with recording in uh, higher fps then you should probably turn this on makes the uh, fps more stable i guess not really good at explaining all of these in quality you can pause the video and yeah i guess now controls uh, i use my i used to have my sensitivity at like 42 i don't know why it's at 40 uh, it can be a 42 40 why not um use this these hotkeys yeah these are pretty much my settings and then i guess we go over to luna client settings um i actually have i will leave the my profile in the description so you can just can download it um yeah there's a lot of tutorials on how to download them so you can actually just search that up all right so let's now go in my model o settings okay so this is how it looks like right now i have dpi set as 800 and i mean it's not much i don't know what really to show okay polling rate wait I have it at max because it's better. Uh, debounce time. I have it, have it as low as possible. If you wanna, if you wanna be able to like butterfly click, click on your model low, you wanna have it as low as possible. If you have it at this, it's gonna be like impossible to double click on your mouse. So yeah, um, mouse parameter, lighting. I just have it at red. Single color. Uh, it's pretty much it. All right, so let's go with my OBS settings. Um, before anyone asks, this is Wallpaper Engine. You can get it on Steam. I think it costs like $5, I think. Um, but I got it for free. But it doesn't work anymore that way, so you can't do that. But anyways, let's get into my OBS settings. Um, first off, um, let's look at my output. This is my streaming settings. Uh, don't think you guys are here for that because i don't even know what this is but here is my recording settings um i right now i'm using cqp 18 it goes between 1 and 30 and the lower you had the better quality you have but it's pretty pointless to use anything between 1 and 10 I, i'd say still like 1 and 11 or 12 that's still pretty pointless like it looks the same pretty much and it it's just over you don't really need that so i would say between you should you should pick anything between like between like uh 14 and 25 i would say i would say that's good, pretty good um right now i'm using 18 16 would be good as well uh, I, I usually switch switch this a lot um i use max support performance high that's pretty much that and i use the nvidia nvank encoder um, I record in 300 FPS. I try. I used to record in like 420 and 360, but it just didn't didn't turn out as, as smooth. I guess. 
so now i started recording at 300 fps no downscale filter advanced i use above normal this i actually use a, a lot filter in sony vegas that helps with this the colors and also what you want to do is you want to go to i'm not sure where you want to go here you want to have you want to ha have one where it says stats so you can actually see how much encoding lag you're causing right now it's zero because i'm not actually recording my minecraft it's just recording my desktop so it doesn't actually lag that much all right so let's go in my vegas settings so first off my project properties uh this is what i use 8-bit full range my phone is calling all right anyways so these are my settings this is actually don't don't look at this because it'll, it'll, this will change uh smart resample uh none yeah that's pretty much it so when i drag in my clips what i do is um i click yes here so I actually changes to 300 300 fps and then i have this lot filter that i call melt and i just drag it on uh adds like better col colors i guess um there's you can search this up online you'll probably find it on youtube a, tu a tutorial for that and what i also sometimes use is i call a correction secondary and i have this pre guess thing that like makes the colors like sharper i guess um okay wait let's just look at this this is like the before and after this is a bit more like contrasted this is a bit more gray but then when i actually render my videos what i use is i render as don't take a bit to load and i have this preset i'm gonna turn this off so i use this the reason i use 18 is because it has like the latest updates for the renders you can also use 16. i ha had some problems with 14 so i stopped using that but as long as you have like this I just i think this comes in like 15 or 16 and then you go down here you can just make some you can just take this then customize it i'll actually just go over my pre my real preset so you guys can see it these are all the settings srgp i use most people use like the normal one but i just changed it to srb because i feel like it and then you just click render and what i also do after I render my videos um i use i upscale my videos using ffmpeg uh, there are multiple tutorials all online. I, I'll leave a one in the description on how to use it. And that way you can actually upscale your videos to 4K. If you record in 1080p, you want to upscale and you want to render in 1080p and then you can upscale to 4K resolution. But yeah, anyways, guys, that was pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope you learned something. Maybe this, this was helpful in any way. That would be nice. But yeah um see you later